Hey. Today's topic of video. <laughs> Crayola. When it comes to Crayola, I feel like a lot of us have mixed feelings. For me, it was a very large part of my childhood. I mean, I can't be the only one who remembers those color wonders, like those little packs you would get for car trips. That was my childhood, especially those door ones. Why were the door ones always so popular? I don't know why, but I had one. And I'm sure some of you had some too. I don't even know if they still sell them. Do they even still sell color wonders? I don't know. I haven't seen them for so long. But anyway, topic Crayola. Sometimes they have let us down and sometimes they have surprised us. So when it comes to Crayola, I have mixed feelings. And I'm just hoping that th maybe this review will reveal a, the good side of Crayola, you know? When my mom brought me these markers, I immediately realized that they were by Crayola and I was kind of surprised because for some reason the packaging, it didn't look like Crayola, but I did see the little logo up in the top corner and I saw that it was Crayola, so I thought, why not? Let's just go for it. Also, this lighting is very dynamic. It is changing because uh, it's quite cloudy today. My mom found these pack of markers, brought them to me, and I realized they seem to be copying the very popular markers that you can color on and then somehow there's your plain color pink and then there is the silver border or whatever. I do remember seeing those a lot on the internet. I think we can all say that Crayola takes the cake when it comes to creative products. Crayons, all kinds of stuff. I, f I feel like they have achieved the ultimate popularity-ness. Go ahead and comment down below your, your feelings on Crayola. Have they always been good to you? Uh, have they disappointed you? You know, just maybe even some interesting tea you can share with us just I'm just gonna stop talking let's just get into the video here we are at the table and i'm just gonna go ahead and bring these things in Ooh, here they are crayola oh i just noticed this okay so they say crayola signature i've never seen signature under crayola before it's always just been crayola is this is this new or is this maybe just another line? I mean, I know it's Crayola, but, hmm. Well, that's interesting. So on the back, we have red, hot magenta, green. Wait, what does it say? Azure? Hold up. Wait. Is that supposed to be Azul? Or am I missing something? I may be missing something. Maybe, that, maybe it's just me. But this is azure. Is that normally how you spell blue? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm look this up. I'm gonna look this up after the video. Okay, so upon further study, azure is actually just a shade of blue. I was thinking of azul, which is the Spanish word for blue, like all the blues. I, I mean, until today, I didn't know that, um, Azure was just a shade of blue, so I guess Crayola can all teach us something. <laughs> and then we've got blue, violet, and black. So, I mean, we have a very nice choice of colors here. There's six. This packaging is very pretty. I mean, I'm actually quite surprised because this is, the middle of this is metallic, and it's it's raised up so it's not just flat I mean you can hear that they also do it here so it actually appears that the metallic is going to be in the middle and the colors are going to be on the outside outlining so that's gonna be interesting to see let's go ahead and unbox these things I wouldn't recommend doing this if you're not a professional with these razors. They're very sharp, trust me, and don't don't ask me how I know why. 
So it seems that the package opens from the side. That's very interesting. So we'll slide these out and they're upside down. Gotta do it the other way. Ooh. Well, they're very Sharpie-esque looking. Actually, they they really look like Sharpies. I think if I if I didn't read, you know, the Crayola signature and very pretty fonts right there. I, I don't know if I would be able to tell much of a difference from Sharpies. I mean, I know here's a little bit thicker than Sharpies, but they, they just remind me of Sharpies, you know. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop about Sharpies now. Let's see. So, this still says Azure. So, maybe I'm just wrong and, you know, this is, maybe this is the right way of pronouncing it. Azure was just a shade of blue, so. So, we have Azure, <laughs> we got black, not in particular order, eh. purple, green, pink, and red. Here are all the colors. I, again, I, I really do like how they look. They, it's, it's plastic, and it does look plastic, but I no, can't, can't be too picky with markers. And now for the moment of truth, we're going to slide in my paper. My only scrap piece of paper, wait, I don't know what this is, so ignore that. Just ignore it. <laughs> we are going to just, I'm just going to write some words with these, maybe some shapes. And I, I think the biggest thing for me is, um, are these going to make the borders that they say they will? Because I have actually gone some before. Now, they're not like this. They're the jelly roll pins. And if you know what those are, they're very small. And I got one of the ones that are supposed to make the same borders. But it was pretty hard to tell or at least see the color borders. It was easy to see the metallic part. So I'm just wondering if these will do the same thing or if, you know, it'll be really prominent, you know. So I, I'm excited to see that. So... I'm just going to start with black. I feel that's a pretty basic color. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm probably going to have to... I'm probably going to have to shake it or push the edge down. Alright, well, that was relatively easy. Didn't take me very long at all. So, we're just going to go ahead and draw something. I think a heart is pretty basic. So, let's just start with a heart. Now, automatically, I see the metallic, but I don't see much of the color border. I guess I do see it some. Some, right there. But it's it's not very prominent, so we're going to try with another color. Again, with the pink. Ooh, okay, now. That. That is nice. The reason I can see this border so much better is because it is such a bright pink, whereas the black almost matches more this dark metallic and kind of just blends with it. So I, I really like this bright pink. You can see the border very well. And that, that makes me really happy. I feel like these would be great for, for bullet journaling or writing in a scrapbook or something. Because these really are very nice. The green. That's pretty. That's a really pretty one. Also, pin paling. This would be great if you pin pal or send care packages to people. I pin pal and I think I may very well try using one of these markers the next time I write. Now blue is my favorite color, so let's see how this one turns out. Hm, not bad. I, I think you may just have to give it a minute before somehow the borders separate. But one thing I did notice is, at least, at least the time, let me try it again. Okay, so for some reason the blue and the silver seems to be more mixed on the green and the blue marker. Which may just be me, it may just be this marker, or it may just be the colors. They just don't stand out as well as that bright pink and purple do. And that may be the case. Okay, that one's good. Alright, so out of the six markers that I got in the pack, I have to say that these three are my favorite 
for really one main reason, the fact that the borders of these stand out so much more than the black, blue, and green, and I'm thinking maybe that's just because of the colors. Like, the black sort of blends in with this one, and then the blue and green, they just, they just don't separate as well. Oh, one other thing I noticed is as I was, you know, pumping the edge of these, if you'll just lay it down, and you could create just a solid circle or something, it, it's much more prominent. As you can see, the border is much thicker. So, I just wanted to try this. If you, if you color the heart in, okay, so if you, if you color it in, it's actually, that's pretty neat, because, you know, you get the border. It seems to be a little thicker. I think if you just hold it down, it, for some reason, it just, just get more of a border on it. Overall, I was surprised. These are really good markers, especially made by Crayola. I mean, sometimes it's just a hit or miss with Crayola, but I do think that these are very good. I would definitely suggest that you try these, especially, again, if you bullet journal or pen pal or just, you know, like to write pretty fonts and letters and stuff. I will be putting a link for these in the description in case you guys want to go check those out. Would you like to see more reviews? Would just let me know what kind of videos you would like to see because I do have fun making these. I also have fun just making random art craft videos. Those are fun as well. But, you know, I just want to be putting out content that you guys really enjoy. So definitely let me know. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon, probably on Sunday, because that's when I live stream. Bye!